I got a very important question for you. And that question is, how are you going to get enough fiber? You need fiber regularly, right? Fiber is good for your heart. It's good for your organs and glands. It helps your colon to function properly. I never told the story before about when I was a boy, I was about, I was a really little boy. I was like probably maybe six years old, seven years old, possibly eight years old. And I was having some constipation, right? I wasn't having such great bowel movements. So the question that I had for myself was, how am I gonna have these normal bowel movements, right? I don't wanna have go to the bathroom and be sitting there for an hour trying to wait for things to happen. And then everybody wonders if I got lost or if I fell through the toilet and got flushed down to the sewer lines. <laughs> this is not what you wanna have happen when you're a little six, seven or eight year old. So it turns out that they thought I wasn't eating enough fiber. So I started eating more fiber with some kind of oatmeal or granola or something in the morning, something like that, something that had a lot of fiber. And then I got better, but then I had the same constipation again for six or seven or eight years, or even more, more like nine years. So that was no good. That was just treating the symptom without addressing what's causing it. So the question is, what's causing you to be constipated if you're constipated? Notice I'm standing in the sun. The sun helps your body make vitamin D. Vitamin D is a nutrient that nourishes the colon. It's mainly related to the small and large intestine, especially the large intestine. And so when you have proper vitamin D metabolism, which may require more than just a healthy colon, you also need to have a healthy liver and kidneys. <laughs> In order to do that, you might need a healthcare provider to help you as an example. But anyway, let's take a keto diet, for example. Is that gonna be a diet with enough fiber? What if you're just mainly eating meats and vegetables, like one of those carnivorous diets, tons of protein and a few green leafy vegetables here and there. Let's think this over a bit, I'm thinking. So lettuce has fiber, avocado has fiber, parsley has fiber, asparagus has fiber. Okay, what else has fiber? Cucumbers have fiber, celery has fiber, a lot of water, but some fiber, and collard greens have fiber. Bok choy has fiber, but it's actually more of a complex carb, so it has less fiber. Chinese vegetables like yu chai has fiber. So all those things have fiber. They're all part of a type of a keto diet. So yeah, if you're following this type of a keto type of a diet type thing, then you're probably gonna have enough fiber. It's mostly just fiber and protein. So you're gonna have enough fiber. So you don't have to ask, where am I getting my fiber? You don't have to ask where you're getting your calcium. It all has calcium. You just have to ask how well you are you digesting and absorbing and utilizing the calcium and the protein, the amino acids, which is the type, which is protein and the fats. And do you have a way to have your colon work properly to be able to have normal healthy bowel function that may or may not require enough fiber because the Maasai warriors and the Samburu tribe in the African, East African region, they have tons and tons of animal protein, very little fiber, if any. And they have fairly good bowel movements and really great cholesterol levels and they have very healthy hearts that studied those two tribes more than almost any other study, at least on cholesterol, for sure. Okay, hope this helps.